Hola señoritas, I'm back. Hey, salamu alaikum everybody. Welcome back to our channel, my... My... Mom? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, I'm Sheikha, this is my husband Mohammed. And if you are new to our channel, welcome. New to the world, welcome. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and your engagement in our videos. I love every single comment that you post. You guys are always so nice to me and I'm so glad that you guys are like not mean and stuff. So, super kudos, yo. Y'all are amazing. Yeah. I cannot believe how sweet people are. So, may Allah reward all of you. Is it the fam gang? It's the fam gang. Mm. You're my family. Let our journey blossom and let it be something beautiful for us, all of us. And uh, yeah, we're just sharing our lives with you. And uh, we're blessed. Alhamdulillah. We're happy to be able to do that. And I make a point out of responding to every single comment that you guys write. This kind of hurts, baby. Every single comment. <laughs> Today we got a sister asking for advice. She was very persistent. Allahumma barik. We're gonna give a sister advice. She was asking me something that she really needed to get sorted out, and we're just gonna do our best and tell the sister uh, what we think you know would be good advice. And mm -hmm. I just discovered your profile on your YouTube channel, and I very respect your uh, spiritual path. I am French. I speak and understand English quite well, even though I am not bilingual. Let me ask you for your advice, if you will. I love my religion more than anything. That's why today I think more and more about the hijab. But as you should know, in France, it is not very well accepted. We cannot work with many sectors, for example, and I am in private school, so I can't wear it either. And that's what's holding me up, unfortunately. Feeling that I will spend more time without than with with in my day. I and I am afraid of feeling frustrated and even hypocritical even though I know it's not my own fault and Allah knows the intention better. Alhamdulillah. But still I don't feel like myself without my scarf. Do you have any advice about my situation? It's complicated to get the idea that society decides for you what's best for us. I'm afraid that I can't find my balance in wearing it, but taking it off all day. Thank you for sharing all that you do. May Allah open the gates of paradise for those for you and your husband. I will leave you with a picture of me with the hijab, subhanAllah, because I have more pictures without it. I hope you read it soon. Wow, my heart really goes out to the sister. That's a tough one. Subhanallah, oh. like, just even her asking for my advice on it, it's like, I wish I could make it easy for you. But mm. friends, it's it's, a, it's tough. And especially going to private school, she literally has to... Wear a uniform or something? Yeah, and yeah. she's not... Imagine that, that you're not allowed to wear a cloth on your head. Because... The school you go to doesn't allow it, which is crazy. Like right now in Belgium, they're they're banning hijabs in in, in schools, in higher educations. It's so crazy. And in France as well, like Subhanallah, the Islamophobia is so real. It's so real there. And the people who are getting abused are Muslim women, women that look like me. That's so crazy. And sister. Again, like, I wish I could take your burden away from you. And I don't feel like, like, I can't give you any advice on, like, what to do or sort of thing. But I would just say, what you're already doing now, like, she's wearing it. When she can. When she can. That's a good thing, yeah. And that's a good thing that she's trying. And the sister is very young as well. So she's trying to wear it when she's not in school and stuff like that but I would you know education is important yes but I would try and speak to your parents about perhaps switching schools because your education shouldn't cost you oh she she's a student not the teacher education should not cost you your akhira you know because okay dunya we have stuff that we want to accomplish and do here but the ultimate goal of every single Muslim is the hereafter, you know. That's our everybody's goal, is to have a good 
akhirah. So I would seriously talk to you know your parents, and uh, you should just see you know look at the possibilities to to go into another school, and just explore your options because there are Muslim communities in France and there are opportunities for Muslim women, but you just have to I think. I don't even know, man. I, I think that you should just really look into, first and foremost, maybe changing schools, if that's even possible. Like, if that was my child, I would, I would, like, even move out of the country. For real. Like, I would do anything. Yeah. And, um, and I know it's tough. It's so tough. And, like you said, Alhamdulillah, Allah knows your intentions. And you do wear it whenever you can, which I, I admire so much. And I think it's a beautiful thing. So what's next that is in your power to do perhaps is to look into changing schools or like petitioning to uh, yeah, that for should, yeah, that should be a good option. Yeah, petitioning to uh, being able to you know get a lot of um, you know people to sign something to allow you to wear it like try and do something activate emotion if you are not able to move, you know what I mean? Do something actively about your situation and try at least. At least you could say you've tried, yeah, you know? that's good, yeah. Even if it doesn't fall through, but people nowadays, we have like a lot of people marching for stuff that they believe in and uh, not even stuff they believe in, marching for what's right, you know? And the whole world is coming together against what's right no for what's right against anything that is unjust and i think that if there's any time for you to do something like that now is the perfect time and i have your back 100 percent. whatever you need me to do i'll share i'll spam my social media whatever you need like just put it in motion since i got you yeah. did i try to with school? Yeah, that's like she didn't give me any information about uh, that, so, so that's why I'm saying like if that's something that you could st do, start there, yeah. start there. And if it's not possible, try and change schools. Talk to your parents, and uh, see if that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. If not, why don't you do like an online school? I know a lot of people who do like important educations online. Fully yeah. possible. You don't even have to, you know, wear your hair scarf. You can be in a house. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna see you. You know, no one's gonna tell you what to wear, no uniform, no nothing. And if you want a sense of community, when try and enroll in, you know, maybe a masjid or something like that, or, you know, I'll be your friend. Yeah. I don't know if that's good advice. That's the thing, like, this is the first time I'm really torn, because this is like a serious, bigger issue yeah, that's like not in your power. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's not something that you're doing wrong that I'm advising mm -hmm. you to stop doing or change behaviors. Try your best and go step by step. Yeah. Make your parents contact the school. Yeah. And contact the local, work. yeah, politicians, yeah. whatever, you know what I mean? We have like young people, um, politicians here, that if there's an issue, I know exactly who to contact and be like, yo, let's set something up. I'm sure you guys must have something like that. You yeah, know? even the masjid. Yeah, even the masjid, yeah get the community to back you up something like put something in motion and i feel like it's so important to be an activist for what's right and mm. if no one else is doing it let you be the one mm. it has to start somewhere yeah be the one 100 percent. i will have your back okay inshallah may allah make it easy for you and all we can do is make dua make lots of dua and just please bear patience and I pray that Allah will continue to bless you and make you, you know, keep you steadfast on this deen because the fact that you're actually really striving to wear your hijab and that you're wearing it like whenever you can, I do really admire and respect that too. Mm, yeah, me too. Yeah. I uh, keep us updated too. Yeah, keep us updated and uh, like I said, like if there's anything we can do, let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for all the love you show and uh, until next time, salamu alaikum. Comment section and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.